Good to see you. It's only for a few minutes. It's been a busy day. Yes, it has been. I came to see you, but you weren't here. So I went and I visited Heather. She's in the building? I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Elizabeth said she was kind of depressed, so I tried to cheer her up. With Fisher's face. Yes. <laughs> yes, and some reassurance that uh, I stopped looking into her sentencing. That do the trick? Not really. You know, she seems concerned that I'm going to abandon her and that I'll stop visiting her. That sounds like reality is setting in, which means her emotions will be all over the place. Yeah, I tried to reassure her that I would keep visiting her just as I always have been. I'll keep Ace in her life in photos. And she perked up just a little bit, but I, I think the reality of Pentonville is weighing on her. Trips to the hospital can be a mixed blessing. She gets a break from prison but then she has glimpses into a life she can no longer have. Make no mistake, I know who she is. I know the things she's done pre and post metallosis, but there's always been this sort of tragic, poignant thing about Heather. But the horror that she became, that is something altogether different. What do you think now that you've taken a step back? I have mixed feelings, but I am... Relieved to have made a decision and put it behind me, and I know that Portia's relieved, too. You spoke to Portia? Yeah, I ran into her here. She wanted to thank me for dropping Heather's case. 